Hello, it's Andy here, and it's that time of the year again where the good folks at Sands have laid down the gauntlet in the form of their latest holiday hack. Now, if you're watching this, you probably already know that the holiday hack is a fun, festive-themed capture-the-flag cyber challenge, and that it's completely free to enter and fosters a great learning environment to help develop new cyber skills. And if that's not enough, there's a few prizes up for grabs too. Whilst there's a time limit on submitting entries to be in with a chance of winning a prize, the servers actually stay up in perpetuity. So if you've not had a crack at the 2018 holiday hack yourself just yet, regardless of what year it is for you now, head on over to the website linked below at the end of this video and give it a try yourself, as the rest of the videos in this series will most certainly be a spoiler. As I'd mentioned in my walkthrough from last year's challenge, I'm certainly no hardcore pen tester. These sorts of CTFs are always a big learning curve for me. But I'm a big believer in continuous development, and so I hope this video series also goes some way to helping a few people sharpen their cyber skills, just as completing this year's challenge helps sharpen mine. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. After evil supervillains tried to destroy Christmas for the past three years running, Santa decided that enough is enough, and so this year has opened the doors to his castle home and hosted KringleCon, a virtual conference for the cybersecurity community, in the hope that collectively we can work out how to safeguard this and all future Christmases from would-be saboteurs. But of course, this being the holiday hack, things are bound to go awry, and we'll probably need to use our newfound cyber skills to save the day. After logging in, we find ourselves at the gates of Santa's castle. Our instructions say that we need to go and see Santa to collect our conference badge, and a set of objectives to complete whilst we're here at KringleCon. So we just need to wander up to Santa and click on him a few times, and sure enough, our Christmas tree-shaped badge gets populated with objectives. Before starting off on the first objective, let's have a quick look around the castle. The main entrance is packed with players, but there's a few non-player characters here, whose names are in green, and a couple of cranberry pie terminals. Moving east, we find a merchandise stall and another cranberry pie terminal. In the west wing, we have another terminal, and a corridor leading to a nice cosy room where another of Santa's elves, Eleanor Twinkletoes, is hanging out. Back in the main room and up the stairs, we find a few more elves, a few more cranberry pie terminals, and the presentation booths for the talks that are being given at KringleCon. Heading east on this floor gives us another terminal and a locked door. Presumably we'll get the code to unlock the door by solving one of the challenges. And if we keep going all the way around and up the stairs again, another locked door. It's now time to get down to the business of meeting Santa's objectives, so I'll see you in the next video where we'll take a look at objective number one. <laughs> 